He's shown lifelong dedication in addressing the needs of people living with a rare disease in the Czech Republic and in Europe. The Lifetime Achievement Award recognises his commitment to rare diseases within the European Union Committee of Experts on Rare Diseases, the European Society of Human Genetics, the Cystic Fibrosis Network, Orphanet and many more. He's been a key figure in many of Eurodis events, including the Rare 2030 Foresight Project and the European Conference on Rare Diseases and Orphan Products. He's been achieving great results in raising awareness on the importance of keeping rare diseases at European, a European public health priority, not to mention his instrumental help in making the link with colleagues in the upcoming Czech EU Council presidency team. So, no one's got it right so far, so I'm going to give that announcement. I'm delighted to announce the recipient of the Eurodis Lifetime Achievement Award 2021 is Milan Marcek. Please welcome, please join me in welcoming, welcoming Milan, who is now with us live. Congratulations, Milan. What a wonderful award. Now, what made you get involved with the rare disease in the very beginning. What made you choose that? Well, thank you, Carrie, and good evening, everyone. And after Raquel and Swami, it's really difficult for me to speak coherently because I'm really moved. And I have to admit that I'm deeply touched and truly honored and uh, very grateful for your audience for giving me this prestigious award. And I just want to say that your audience is a highly respected voice of rare diseases in Europe and beyond. And I'm a physician, right? And, and we physicians particularly value appreciation from people whom we humbly serve. Truly, that's, that's the core of it. But however, I have to stress that it is not just a personal award, it's a recognition of the entire Czech rare disease community and their contribution to the field. Well, what made me uh, start in rare diseases, I finished my medical school in the late 80s and I decided to enroll into MD-PhD program and first start with research. And I still remember when my mentor came to me and said, hey, you know, it's an exciting time. Uh, there are two groups hunting the cystic fibrosis gene. Would you like to join one of them? And I said, well, OK, why not? And in fact, coincidentally, uh, my uh, question, which I drew at the, the final sort of state exams in, uh, in medical school was on cystic fibrosis. Wow, two wow. things came together. So and since then on, it was just a matter of hard work and luck. And I first started in Berlin, where we genotype patients, and then moved to Johns Hopkins, where I received my second postdoctoral fellowship. And there? And that's why I talk of Raquel and Swami. And there I met a young student. Her name was Liz Mesh, Nash. And she had CF. And she came to the lab. And she came to the lab and worked with us and carried out her first undergrad and then postgrad research. And she persevered. She came often sick to the lab. But she showed us what, what it is, what strength she had, and how dedicated she was. Unfortunately, later, 10 years later, uh, she succumbed to her uh, disease and her family established a Liz uh, Nash Memorial Foundation, which now supports people with cystic fibrosis in their research studies. It's very successful. And from there on, it's, you know, CF, but not only CF, rare diseases became my life. I came back to, to Prague in mid 90s. And there I started my clinical work and we medical geneticists see what it is for patients and their families to undergo the diagnostic Odyssea. And we realized, hey, this is not enough. We need to go outside of the, of the clinic. We need to do something on a broader scale. We need to uh, be involved in, in policies. And then it went like a snowball and here we are. Well, Milan, there's a lot of love in the room for you this evening. Lots of correct guesses, actually, at the last minute. Uh, Lisa and Daria, Matt, Shirley, and all guessed that you had won. Thank Ursula you. says, Milan, with lots of, well, lots of ends. Milan, we love Hello, you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Turkle says, congratulations, Milan. You're an inspiration for all of us. Avril, that's lovely. She says, congratulations, Milan Macek. You have always been such an important advocate over many years, and we appreciate your time, energy, and support. So with everything that you've done in the rare disease area, what has been the most meaningful for you? 
Well, on the international level, uh, and again, it was serendipity. Um, the, we, uh, uh, I was involved in the broader group of highly enthusiastic colleagues, you know, who were involved in the in the ratification of the EU Council recommendation in 2009 under the Czech EU Council presidency. Uh, later, and that's this is what I also value. I became the president of the European Society of Human Genetics, and under my auspices, um, uh, the medical genetics was recognized as an EU-wide specialty. And, and really, we medical geneticists are at the core of diagnosing. Um, uh, we are at the forefront of diagnosing um, rare disease uh, cases. So we, it really gave this important specialty a major boost. And on the national front. I have to say, you know, again, it's a lot of work, but we succeeded in national action plans and, and a 10 year strategy. But what I appreciate most is that we developed a truly, I would say, interdisciplinary team when we work all together. And the most humbling experience for us as physicians is to start working with patients because they show us how how little we know and they are the true experts and it's not a phrase it's often said as a cliche but they're the true experts in their diseases and, and they're inspirational there are so many Liz Nashes among them so this oh. is what I value most. I love your humility. Uh, you're being very humble, but everybody else is really praising you. We've got Enrique saying, wow, Milan, you're the best. <laughs> Proud of having an opportunity of meeting you and learning from you. An outstanding person as professional and as a person. We're seconding that here. Matt says, fantastic, Milan, super. Michael says, wow, great work, Milan, well deserved. Finally, Milan, just if I could ask you, I mean, you've achieved so much. Is there anything left for you to think about for the future? Of course, you know, you never end. And <clears throat> you should always think of the future. You know, things which happened are, are done and we should continue. And in fact, you know, it seems like that I optimized my final <laughs> remarks with Avril. But today I read uh, in the paper that, you know, that some people realize what is the cryptic message on the parachute of the lunar, uh, sorry, of the Martian module, which was just kind of descending. Yes. And it says, they're mighty things. And I said, wow, yeah, this is exactly what we need to do and indeed you know we can do mighty things for people with rare diseases when we continue working together and um, I have to say that uh, we are really working very hard with our uh, patient representatives and with our national alliance to work with our policymakers and to make the uh, French, um, Czech and Swedish trio presidency a success and hopefully we will have a new policy framework which will move the field forward. We have reference networks, all was said today, so we have reference networks, we have a strong basis. And I would paraphrase what Jan Lekam says, that we have the house, uh, it's, it's fitted, but we need to populate it and we need to, we need to make it uh, live and living. And, and this is the next challenge uh, which is in front of us. Well, we thank you very much for your mighty work. Milan Marcek, congratulations you. on your Lifetime Achievement Award.